Uh, I was asked to speak today on the material in chapter 4. I thought to myself, boring. <laughs> then I read the chapter. Boring. <laughs> so today instead I'd like to talk about sex. <laughs> For a long time in recent history, no one was talking about sex. Now, yes, uh, everyone had a sex life. Uh, everyone thought about sex. Everyone had sexual practices and activities. But no one was talking about it. Sex was taboo. And then in 1947, a guy named Alfred Kinsey raised the question, what if we started exploring people's sexual activities and personal practices? What if we started studying that? The world hasn't been the same since. <laughs> Now today, you and I participate in a deeper, more pervasive, more severe taboo than the taboo about sex. And this is the taboo about our personal interior lives. We don't really talk about it, don't acknowledge it publicly. We um, mostly try to avoid exploring it. Sometimes we don't even acknowledge to ourselves that we have one. We practice often living on the surface of life. We're pretty good at, at talking about the weather, about the score of yesterday's football game, Pretty good at talking about the latest sales at the mall, gossiping about our neighbors, our friends, our families. Pretty good at those things. Sometimes we even talk about how we feel about those things. But it often doesn't go much deeper. The interior life is taboo. So, what is the interior life? Which way is within? Where is within? Well, here's something I think I figured out. Uh, within is within the body. Now that may sound like a silly thing to say. However, early on in life, most of us begin to practice living out there. We begin to practice living our lives, trying to live our lives by what other people are doing, by what other people are thinking, by what we think they're thinking, by what other people are feeling, by what's on the TV. We practice living our lives out there and we get disconnected from the experience of our experience, which in fact happens in our bodies. So what is the interior life? The interior life The interior life is full of sights and sounds and songs and stories and myths and rituals and dreams and fantasies. And the interior life is full of every memory, of every encounter, of every experience, of every event 
in your life and especially the ones you think you've forgotten. The interior life is full of every thought we've ever, ever thought, every judgment we've ever held, every opinion. Interior life is full of every fear and every worry and every concern, real or imagined, that has ever passed through this being. It's full of, of every love and every care and every romance we've ever had. The interior life at a deeper level is full of states of being which are deeper than thoughts or feelings. Some of which we know, some of which we will get to know. But that is that collection of all of that is the interior life and it, it all works together to create a palette of choice, a palette of freedom out of which you and I have an opportunity to paint the picture of each day of our lives or to write the script of the play, the drama that we have an opportunity to enact on the stage of our lives.